Hey guys, today we will be discussing about elimination techniques. So elimination technique is very important when it comes to computer vision and whenever we have to interpret the object. So first of all, we will see what is the need for elimination techniques. Arbitrary lighting of the environment is often not acceptable because it can lead to low contrast images, specular reflection and shadows. Due to these that is the contrast images and specular reflection and shadows it influences the complexity of the vision algorithms for example if there is high contrast there is low contrast in images and there is high specular reflection and shadows then the complexity of the vision algorithms will increase as the object won't be visible in the image properly due to which the complexity and the time complexity as well as the space complexity of the algorithms will increase which is not good so we need to design a well designed lighting system so that it eliminates a scene so that the complexity of the resulting image is reduced it means that if the lighting is good that that is we have a good lighting system which eliminates a scene then the complexity of the resulting algorithms that is the algorithms for vision that is the vision algorithms their complexity will reduce that is they will act faster and lower space space and time complexity will be there which is good so now we will be discussing certain techniques uh, which are used for illumination that is first the first illumination technique is diffuse lighting technique or we can also say that it is the known as the diffuse lighting approach now this technique or this is used to or this is used for getting the surfaces characteristics characteristics that is the smoothness or regular surface information that is we can say that this is used for getting the surface characteristics that is the smoothness or the regular surface info that is it helps us know about the what kind of surface we are dealing with that what kind of a surface an object has so let us draw its diagram now suppose that we have this setup for illumination and here we have the lighting source that is this is the lighting source and over here we have the object say we have a cylindrical object and from this light source the light is coming out which is getting reflected from the surface over here so this light source uh, is uh, giving out light due to which the light is getting reflected from the surfaces and it is uh, coming on to the object due to which a shadow over here is formed this is known as the shadow and this is the object and over here we have the camera which is used for vision calculation of the object so this is the diagram for the uh, light diffusion uh, diffusion lighting technique or the diffusion lighting approach now we will be discussing the second technique which is known as backlighting now in backlighting it gives us the binary images that is images which are black and white this is used to determine the silhouettes of objects so we can say that backlighting gives us the binary images that is the black and white images so the diagram for backlighting is that we have a source over here that is the light source that is this is our light source and it is giving out light and we have an object over here say we have a cylindrical object over here on which the light is hitting from the light source this is the light source this is the object 
and over here we have the camera so this is the camera this is the object and this is the light source and in backlighting we get the binary images of the uh, binary images of the object that is we get black and white images so now we will be discussing the third technique third technique is, it is given as structured lighting now in structured lighting we will establish let me first write what is structured lighting that is we will here establish a known pattern we will establish a known pattern on the workspace or we can say the object and the disturbances and the disturbances of this pattern will indicate the it will indicate the presence of an object that is in simple words we can say that suppose we have a workspace that is this is a workspace and we have drawn a certain pattern on this with the help of the illumination technique now this pattern is already known to us that is we have written a known pattern a known pattern will be used now suppose there is some certain distortion or certain disturbances in this pattern for example the pattern gets distorted like this or there is some anomaly or there is some defect in between the pattern then we can say that the pattern indicates the presence of an object with this will mean that there is an object present over there so structured lighting uh, we can draw its diagram now let us consider this object that is this will be a cylindrical part and let us consider this as the workspace in which the object is kept now we have the illumination illumination or the lighting source over here that is this is the lighting source which will give out light and over here we have a grating which will create the pattern this is also known as ronchi grating that is r o n c h i grating this will create a certain pattern over here that is it will create pattern of lines suppose if the object had not been here then this would have been the normal pattern and this pattern would would already be known by us we are drawing this pattern supposing that this cylindrical object that this cylindrical object is not there now suppose this object is detected by the light source that is this object is detected by the light source so now the new pattern will be like this that there will be a little bump as it will be reflected upon the object similarly we will have lines like this that is now there will be a certain dis uh, distortion or a disturbances in the pattern of the object that we are creating so now this uh, distortion in the these distortions in the pattern will be detected and this will help us identify that there is an object that there is an object present in the workspace this is the object and this is the workspace so due to this uh, pattern we can find out that there is certain object present in the workspace so this technique is known as structured lighting now let us come to the last technique that is the fourth technique which is known as directional lighting now in directional lighting it detects the defects on the surface on the surface such as pits and scratches using laser so it means that it helps us directional lighting helps us to detect any defects on the surface such as pits or scratches with the help of a laser so now let us draw the diagram for directional lighting suppose we have an object or suppose first we have a rough surface 
so this is the rough surface now on this we have an illumination source or the lighting source over here which will give out light so this light will come from there and it will be reflected from this rough surface or we can say this lighting source contains laser instead of normal light we will have laser and this will be reflected from here from the rough surface and this will be detected by the camera now with the help of this technique we will be able to find out that what are the uh, defects on the surface of an object or any surface let us say that these are the defects this is the pits and suppose there are certain scratches so these scratches will deflect the light in a different manner which will be defect, uh, def uh, detected by the camera which is present over here so the camera will be able to interpret that what are the different uh, scratches and the pits or the defects on the surface and will be uh, displayed to us using a display object such as a computer so these are the illumination techniques which will be used in order to you know in order to light the environment properly so that the complexity of the resulting image is reduced so this is all for this video if you are able to understand these different diffusion techniques write wow in the comment section it would be great to know that you were able to understand it and these diagrams that i have drawn these are important you can just uh, draw these rough figures just like i have drawn uh, in the exam and you will get full marks and these are the four techniques that we have discussed so this is it for this video see you in the next one